The Minnesota fight in Vikings season abruptly ended after the Vikings allegedly. Yes, I'm going to stick with that. A uh, loss in New York football giants at home, wild card weekend, and everyone and their mom, of course, is going to remember the final play. Kirk Cousins, fourth and eight. Oh, we checked it down three yards. Blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, a lot of Jabroni fans, a lot of the Jabroni media people have, have piled on Kirk Cousins, even though Kirk played a phenomenal game, in my opinion. Uh, and it, it's really unfortunate that. So Patrick Peterson uh, on his podcast, All Things Covered, even though it should be called All Things Covered except for Isaiah Hodgins, uh, but he uh, was on with uh, Brian McFadden doing their show, and he didn't just he, he didn't come out and just lambaste Kirk, right? He, he didn't talk ish about Kirk. He didn't criticize him. He didn't put him down, but he left himself open for the media to run with it as criticism. Right, and so, so we'll go from there. So uh, it, it starts off, uh, well, Thomason quoted him, and then uh, Pro Football Talk, uh, Florio, of course, always looking for the negative. On faithful play against the Giants, the Vikings cornerback Patrick Peterson thought Kirk Cousins didn't know what down it was. So that's the headline. Right. And also, yeah, we're, we're guilty of it, too, uh, to a degree. But we just want to go through. So this reads completely different uh, in print versus when you hear the context and of course that's with anything but blah 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 on the final play going into that final play when i saw it the only thing i could think about i was like he must have didn't know what down it was pearson said uh, i haven't heard his explanation about it as of yet but on the sideline it just took me back because i was just shocked that we threw the ball three yards when we needed eight he continued, I really don't know what went into that, how that decision came about, him throwing the ball that short, Peterson added. But as far as his overall performance in that game, I thought that he played solid. I thought he was a uh, top-ten quarterback all year long. He's a guy that we could win with for sure. So everyone's going to forget that last part. And he sandwiched it. Like He talk, he said that Kirk Cousins thought uh, he thought that Kirk played a very solid game, uh, but everyone's gonna, going to run with, uh, I really don't know what went into that, et cetera. And I don't know. I, I think – I think at this point it's pretty clear that it was a bad play call by O'Connell. You had Jefferson triple covered. You had a long developing routes where the offensive line couldn't support that. And then you had two checkdowns and Dalvin and Hawkinson. And I believe Kirk, whereas like, hey, either Kirk takes a sack and he looks like an idiot or he gives Hawkinson a chance to make a play. And like I said, if Hawkinson breaks that tackle, he probably runs for 10, 15 yards uh, pretty easily. And then the Vikings drive uh, continues. But I don't know. Like Peterson... I, I know he didn't mean like massive criticism on Kirk, but that's the way it's going to come across. And you got to always have your dukes up, man. You always got to ha have your hands up and defend yourself against the national media jabroni haircuts. And you know, with this podcast, I mean, Peterson is becoming more part of the media, and everyone's going to run with that. Everyone's going to run with, well, Kirk didn't know what down it was. I mean, that's exactly what the, our, our title of our video is because we're going full clickbait. I, I, I ain't ashamed. I, I, I ain't ashamed, man. But... <sighs> It's just one of those spots where I think Peterson should have either talked with Kirk or you know look, looked over the film. Like he's a he's an all pro. He's going to be a future Hall of Famer. He knows what's up. He 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 would know that it's a bad play design uh, given the circumstances in that spot. But I mean, also I mean Peterson. I don't know. Maybe why did the defense give up 31 points uh, to Daniel Jones and the Giants at home? In the playoffs, maybe look at that. I mean, Kirk Cousins, respect. I mean, Kirk Cousins uh, bailed out that defense a lot this year. And, yes, the defense also bailed out this team a lot uh, with last-second takeaways. But, you know, it's a team game. And I think that any way where you leave yourself open, where it can be interpreted that you're taking a shot at your quarterback, especially when the defense played the way it did, especially when Ed Donatel got fired, I don't know, man. I don't know. But also, you know, maybe Peterson understands that he's a free agent. Maybe moving on, new defensive scheme. Maybe Quasey uh, Analytics says that, hey, you, you don't pay 33-year-old cornerbacks. So, anyways, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, I mean, if this is the end with Patrick Peterson, I, I think that he played phenomenal over the last two years. I respect what he did as a leader and a mentor to the young cornerback room. Just, yeah, yeah just kind of sucks the way that ended all the way around. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Peterson. Kind of critiques Kirk Cousins uh, on the final play. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.